Lakers snap a three-game road losing streak. And, and wait, wait, you know what our, our producer Aaron Brooks just said to me in my ear. He said, Aaron Banks. Aaron Banks, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Aaron Brooks, he's a player. You, you don't want to. Hey, 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 how about this? AB, AB said he only had three turnovers in that. Who's he? Westbrook. <laughs> you know, I thought tonight was how he needs to play. Only took one three pointer. Mm -hmm. So 16 of his shots were attacking. Took a few jump shots, and, and that's going to happen. You got to shoot some of those. But for the most part, he tried to live in the paint, he kept attacking. And he didn't turn it over. I, I thought that was a step in the right direction for him. And listen, yeah, they beat the lowly magic. But when you're struggling the way they've been struggling, you just need a win. You just need to find something to be positive about. And listen, they're going into probably their toughest road trip of the season. I mean, they're going to face nothing but heavyweights. And they're hoping to get AD back. Maybe they can build some momentum and, and get ready for the next one. This is a, a, a must-win game for the Lakers tonight? Well, based on the reports, it might have been a must-win for Frank Vogel. All right, let's go back out. I, I don't think it should have been, but that's you know that, that's what I'm getting on, on my Twitter feed. Let's go. <laughs> let's let, let's go live to Orlando, where you, I mean, you just de you you just Russell Westbrook just beat this oh, guy's son. Oh, okay, Brody here. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely looking forward you, to this. You just beat this guy's son out there, and now he's going to join us, Russell oh, Westbrook, he live been. here on Game Time. Hey, Russ, what, what, was this a must-win game for you guys tonight? Um, no, nah, I mean, why would it be a must win? It's a win that we needed to win, obviously. Um, but, you know, um, in any game in NBA, um, any team can be beat on any night, regardless of records, regardless of players. Uh, we know when people are playing the Los Angeles Lakers, they're going to give us their best shot. And uh, tonight I thought we did a good job of sticking to our principles, um, getting the win like we're supposed to, and then move on to the next one. Russ, there, there was a lot made of – the decision Frank Vogel made last game out by not putting you out there late in the game. And, and, and you made some, some really what felt like good comments about doing what's best for the team. What, what conversations did you have with Coach Vogel over the last day or two where it led to you being in the game to close out the Magic tonight? Um, honestly, no conversations, man. I, I, since I've been here since day one, uh, my objective is always – um, team first um, and, and find a ways to win. Um, I'm coming to a new system, a new team, a new organization, and I'm a guy that I like to adjust and, and try to make my teammates better around me. And um, since I've been here, I've done everything that the coaching staff has asked me to do, and I'm just continuing to try and do it to the best of my ability uh, so we can become the best team um, that we, you know, all sought out to be and uh, hopefully win the championship towards the end of the year. Now, now Russ, I, we're watching the game, and to me, I felt like tonight you, you really try to just get back to the basics of, of living in the paint. That's where you're at your best, not settling. I always say this about young players. You, you try to play to your strength and not your weakness. You didn't rely yeah. just on shooting jump shots. And then when you got in there, either you had the shot or you made the right play. Because uh, I'm watching you, man, and I can see when a great player is thinking too much. Yeah. And you've been thinking a lot out on the floor. What do you feel you're going to have to do to get to a point where you can just play with freedom and confidence? Because obviously you're back home, the expectations, the disappointment, <laughs> that, that it plays a role. Listen, we're human. Yeah, uh, you know, honestly, Greg, I'm, I'm big, uh, number one, um, I'm big on my faith. I uh, lean a lot on um, giving faith and having faith in, in my craft and being able to do the things I've been able to do so, so many years. Um, and number two, I get back to the basics, like you mentioned, uh, finding ways to be able to get to my fundamentals, uh, finish around the basket, doing what I'm accustomed to doing. But with that, I have to make, do a better job of continuing to make my teammates better around me, finding ways to uh, be the best Russ I can be for the Lakers. And I, that's, the, that's the, the goal for me as the season prolonged. And it's a long year. Um, and we got one goal, and that's to win a championship. We're not going to win right now. But uh, my job is to make sure that I'm doing the best that I can do in my position, and that's to, to make guys about me better and uh, do what's best, you know, for the team. Well, if, if you see Cole down there, just warn him of of the post game phone call he's going to get from his father. Later <laughs> no, no, no. He, 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 I don't call him first. He, he calls. He calls you. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 he that's exactly how it must be. He, he's struggling that's right exactly now. <laughs> hey, Russ, we, we appreciate it, man. It's stand up of you to, to sit down with us today. Yes, that's Thank really you. cool. Appreciate you. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. All right, big win here by the Lakers. Yeah. Said it wasn't a must win, but but he certainly played better. And listen. People are going to make a lot of Frank Vogel, and, and it's nonsense that, that we have to go game to game and, and check, in on the, check the temperature of Frank Vogel's yeah. hot seat. That, that's ridiculous. But tonight, 
Russell Westbrook was in that finishing closing lineup. He played well. Listen, they, the Lakers still had 18 turnovers in the game. I mean, that's that's just too many uh, for for the most part a veteran laden team. But you know, when you're struggling, you're looking for baby steps. And I thought he made took baby steps tonight. Meaning, and we, as we talked about, like he got away from playing to his weakness and played to his strength, getting two feet in the paint. And and when he does that, he puts tremendous pressure on a defense. And it's just good to see him getting back to that. And listen, is it made easier, obviously, against a team like the Magic where they're still kind of searching? But that's what he's got to be. And I think when he does this and plays with this kind of force and he's the one doing the dictating from an offensive standpoint, he and the Lakers are an infinitely better basketball team. Okay, but again, no offense, but this was against the Magic. Yeah, but their problem's been they've been losing to the bad team. Sure. That's so, you know, the first step of becoming a good team is beat the teams you're supposed to beat. Right. And then you get to see as you get confidence from wins, then you got you start gauging yourself against the elites in, in our league. And right now, they're not a good basketball team. Right. They're, they're just not. So they I, I don't look at them in the same breath. I look at Phoenix or uh, 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 Philly or, or right. some of the elite teams, Milwaukee. To me right now, they're a team trying to find their way. And so when that's the case, you're just looking for positives to build on. And as Russ said, they still got a long way to go with this season to try and write this thing. Okay, so, so it changes now the next four games or so. You have a game Sunday at Miami. Then you're at Brooklyn. Again, Brooklyn is not going to have KD or Kyrie because it's a home game. Mm -hmm. Then you play at Philadelphia against Joel Embiid. And, and that's, you know... You're going to have to play Dwight Howard a lot of minutes in that game oh, against you, Joel Embiid. You will, but he can be a, more effective in that game because he's got somebody to guard. You know, in this game tonight, the reason I didn't like him in the starting lineup is because you're playing him against a guy that doesn't play in the paint, and Obama, he's going to basically be a three-point shooter, so it really takes Dwight away from his strength. Um, but you just made a great point about who they're going to be playing. Miami, they're dealing with all kinds of issues injury-wise, guys in and out of their roster lineup, right? And then you talk about their next game against Brooklyn. There won't be a KD or a Kyrie in that game. So that's an opportunity for this team to maybe get a two- or three-game win streak. And from winning, you get confidence. And that's what they're looking for right, right. now is confidence. So, listen, they started off the road trip the way you want to start it, with yep. a win. It wasn't necessarily pretty, but you got Westbrook playing better. LeBron continues to play at a high level. Their bench was solid tonight. So there, there are positives. And when you're going through a season, you don't look at the way we do or those on the outside. Like, this is about building. And when you're down where this team has been, you're just looking for positives. And they had some positive signs tonight. Carmelo Anthony, big. Back in the lineup, Huge. 23 points, hit four three-pointers. Lakers got 29